into the cutaway section, press the thumb into it, scrape it across, just like so. That's the hardest part for anyone to do, is to get a consistent bed. You can build up to 30 square metres and 4 metres high without planning permission if it's detached from the main building. I've got the ultimate workshop, so now I'm going to build a set. And that was a mixed use building where you could put the car in it as well as have it as a workshop. But it's such a good building, it works so well, I'm keeping it as a workshop and I'm just going to have a, a garage built separately. And the money it's put on the value of the property is phenomenal. All the best inventions are always simple. And the hardest thing for people to do is to get the, the even bed water, to get the joints correct, and to get it in a straight line. So, I mean, there's also the element of satisfaction from doing the DIY yourself. So yeah. I thought I'd come along and, and see how it works. Yeah. So I mean, look, it's a perfect bed, exactly right? Perfect. This is why I like it, because it's clever. And because she slides, you put it on there, and then you just slide it through yeah. to the end, right? Right. Yeah. And he's mastered it already. Well, what, the, what, what do you think of it, Tommy? Well, I think it's... I think it's clever, it's innovative and it works. I've been seen lots of like brick laying aids and they never really work, brick mats, all sorts of stuff. But this one, well this actually works because it's simple, it, you know, it's not rocket science and it sets out the bed. So you, obviously you still have to use a level, get your level, your corners plumb. Put the first one on, just make sure it's right, check it with the level. But this is the clever bit. Right, so you get this to do your perps, you just push that in, scrape off the excess, yeah. take it up. Yeah. The 12 mil bed it gives yeah. you, so obviously you want to give it a little bit of a push yeah. down to get it firmly bedded. Yeah. Takes down the 2 mil, you've got a 10 mil bed, which is what you want, that's the, the yeah. building standard. Yeah. Put that one in there, and you've got the perfect perp each time. That Squash that down, that gives you what you want. And then this is another invention of his. You invent this whole thing, though? Yes. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> You're a bricklayer by trade, then, are you? Carpenter by trade. Uh, carpenter. He's a carpenter. This is the carpenter's solution to bricklaying, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> this is clever. Because it's got that lip on the top, yeah. it doesn't actually fall off when you're setting up the blocks. Easily, can you? Yes. Oh, yeah. There's, you'll yeah. just set a log yeah. here, you see. Just you pull it through and lock, and lock yeah. it off. And the beauty about it, then, using your level, your wall always remains. Set your line up and, and work to your line and you're away. Having there seen the tool, would you be tempted to have a go? I would definitely be tempted to have a go. Today, I'm not having a go, because I'm like a fool myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only doing that when I get paid. <laughs> that's finishing off that joint. Well, that's it. I mean, that's exactly the same as an amateur would use it, because I'm obviously the first time or the second time I've used it, yeah. And it works, and you just repeat the process. And that's the measure of brickwork, is how clean is the brickwork. The uniformity of the joint, consistent uniformity, and the staining then on the edge, having no staining on the brickwork, that is the that really is the essence of quality brickwork. So you're in a Skinner block work, same thing, you've got a profile, and also you could do, he showed me on here, you're doing a soldier course over a window or on a wall, it's the same, so you put that in there, get your, yeah. your bed. Now they're the hardest ones to get a bed on. That put comes them, with a set, does it? Yeah, so you put your bed on, and then of course you've got the perfect joint for that. So your block work will be done. This is another one of his marvellous inventions. Is that a tie or something? No, it's a joint, a joint now. But you know there's always a bit of tolerance in the joints right. if you're using reclaimed bricks yeah. or whatever. So there's four different sized joints here. So that you can then, once this is cured, you can clean it up and you've got the perfect solution to it. You've, um, you've a 1210 E and 6mm pointing right. surface. Now is the time to experience the true satisfaction of building your own project. Bring your garden to life by adding some raised planters or flower beds. Build in a feature like a fish pond or a raised vegetable garden. Nice clean brickwork in your garden looks so attractive and when you raise up your plants and flowers it really brings them to life. Build your own garden walls, edge your borders or driveway, build the base for your conservatory or greenhouse. Replace that rotten timber fence with a permanent boundary or dividing wall. Build a nice brick entrance wall to your home. Hide the ugly wheelie bins or oil tank. Construct raised beds to grow your own fruit and veg. And in this situation, the soil taken from digging the footings can in turn be used to fill in the beds. 
Add massive value to your property by adding an extension or build a home office, granny annex, garage, workshop or playroom for the kids. Noel shows us how in his comprehensive Build It DVD. We filmed every aspect yeah. for people, including smaller projects, but this was the main thing. And that's built to the same standard as our homes, in line with current building regs, double lead cavity walls, so the, the two walls are obviously tied together with your wall ties. And we take people every step of the way out to complete that project, all outlined in that DVD. See, a lot of people take, with garages, they buy those concrete precast horrible things because they can do that as a DIY. Yeah. But if you could give them something where they could build a proper one. Compared to a nicely built brick, compared to a precast garage, I mean. 30 quid that, and the whole thing with the trowel, all the bits, right. the all lines and it. Oh, right. If you have the desire to go out and do it, then you can achieve it, that's all. It empowers people.